you, Gail. A local female rapper was killed in a shooting in Oakland. This was Saturday uh, during the grand opening of a beauty store. Another person was injured. Police are still trying to find the shooter. Cronforce Sarah Stinson has that story. Family and friends gathered outside Glamour Beauty Supply in Oakland Sunday, many in tears as they paid tribute to local female rapper and entrepreneur Tandagod. They confirmed to Cron 4 she was shot and killed at a grand opening event for the beauty store Saturday. Tan posted on Instagram just before the shooting. Here, I got granny in a cut, no way with it. She also promoted the event a week before, saying she would be at Glamour Beauty for a meet and greet. Shots rang out at the strip mall on 40th Street and Telegraph Avenue around 5 p.m. People ran into this donut shop to take cover. I heard some shooting. I thought it was part of, like, their music. Or... A man who works there who does not want to be identified described the chaotic scene. I just saw, like, two or three people start running into my store and, like, you know, they're shooting, they're shooting. And people started pulling out of the parking lot and people were just running around. So, and as soon as I stepped outside, the cops were pretty much already here. Oakland police say when they arrived, paramedics found one gunshot victim who died at the hospital. Another gunshot victim arrived at a nearby hospital sometime later. Police say that person is expected to be okay they're still working to identify the shooter no arrests have been made a man who works at a korean restaurant nearby witnessed the shooting just this guy with the hoodie came by and started shooting and that was it and he just just ran away the, the police came Bay Area rapper and philanthropist Mr. Fab posted about the shooting, saying he was booked to be at the same event, but, quote, God had different plans. He also posted saying he would always remember Tan as a hustling go-getter with a world of ambition, drive, and courage. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting in Oakland, Cron 4 News. Tan to God, huh? This is another epic L for the so-called black woman and an epic L for black culture. We we'll start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles and bishops at the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And a uh, tragic story, but, um, you know, whoever perished being innocent, right? You know, where was the righteous cut off? She damn sure wasn't righteous. You know, you uh, you know, look at her behavior, you look at her her her, her pictures, you see her in the video, you see she's super proud, you know, ratchet as hell. You know, she's definitely from the hood, so she's ratchet, you know, no uh class, you know, typical Ratchet hood rat in the and uh she ended up uh you know catching it you know she got taken by the device which she imagined all right she uh was wishing death on her ex you know her ex was definitely a a, a pookie ray ray thug type of nigga you know they it didn't work out of course um. And uh, she was angry, of course, never let nothing go. So she turned her her ex into a song, you know, basically about him being put to death. All right, and uh, this is you know you don't play with with that. Now, you know this was the uh, the cover the out the, the 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 cover for her 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 song. All right, dropping a song about shooting her ex, ex pack, ex wood pack, you know, and that's the saying among Jake in the in the hood, showing you that Jake is super cursed. You know that Chicago lingo when you uh, kill an op or an enemy, they say you know we smoking on that person's pack. So you know this is what she meant by that. You know, basically ex wood pack. So she's smoking on her her ex pack. You know, meaning, you know, she got, she getting up out, getting them out of there, you know, which is totally wicked, you know, you know, she understood the truth, you know, that's really technically her husband, which, you know, if he probably wasn't even her, um, 
her first, you know, because a lot of our women, you know, they go from relationship to relationship. So they didn't been through, you know, they didn't, they didn't been ran through so many times by different men. You know, you never know, but regardless, you know, that was that being her ex. So that was supposed to be her husband. And uh, she wishing death on her own husband, you know, <clears throat> so she got taken in a device which she imagined. All right. She wanted to smoke on his pack and now somebody else is smoking on her pack, which she more than likely sit the hit. All right. They saying, you know, they're speculating that it may have came from him, you know, because because this is, you know, who, he would have the, the most reason to, you know, do such a thing. All right. So uh, this is some somebody posted this on uh, Instagram and this is supposed to be the song that that led to everything. Oh man, just listening to that shit, man. You know, you see how far, how how far gone our people truly are, man. Especially the 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 end. That's why we get on the so called black women. Like, there's nothing uh feminine about our women. She sound like another typical nigga on a track talking shit. You know, no class, no no. No femininity, just just masculine. It's always surrounded with 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 uh, drama, controversy, and you know she thought she was gonna kill the gang with that. <laughs> only only for this to to backfire, you know. So uh, nothing of value was lost here. All right, so you know she was she was putting that energy out there, and it returned right back to her. All right, so, you know, definitely don't feel nothing for her. She, you know, she got judged. That's basically what happened. She was judged with the sword. Let's get uh, Job real quick. Job 19 and 29, it says, Be ye afraid of the sword, for Rav bringeth the punishment to the sword, that you may know there is a judgment. You know, she got met by a spirit of vengeance, of course, you know. Let's get that in the, uh, the apocrypha. Because you know the ex had to hurt this and it, it enraged him. You know, whether he has anything to do with this or not, but you know what was going through his head. You know, you want to go, you, you, that's, that's the energy you're putting out there. You want me gone, you smoking on my pack, huh? So you already know, especially if, you know, Jake being from the hood. You know, one of these uh, Pookie Ray Ray thugged out type of niggas. He's not going to stand down for that. And these women, they know what they getting involved with, you know, because they're attracted to these type of niggas. All right. They'll turn down a nine to five dude for, for one of those type of niggas. You know, it brings excitement to them. So Rock 39 and uh, 28, it says these, it's like if there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they have, they pour out their force, you know, right, right outside that little grand opening, that meet and greet, you know, person drove through, hopped out and, and, and let off, poured out that force and appeased the wrath of him that made them, you know, so the most side was angry with her and, uh, you know, put this, sent that spirit of vengeance on that person to, 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 you know, carry out the mission. All right, and now her pack is getting smoked on. She got her 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 pack smoked right outside her own uh, beauty beauty salon. 
You know, you can't hey, you can't play with with like when it comes to the tongue, you 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 can't play around like that, man. You know, the scriptures talk about how your your tongue is a uh, is it's it's a it's a a world of iniquity. You know, it's it's a fire that cannot be tamed, and people go into the booth and they, you know, let out all all their mind. You an idiot when you do that. Hell, even uh, what's that that uh that one dude who be doing his little skits and uh comedy parodies on his uh channel Long Beach Griffey, where he always uh doing parodies of different types of people that go in the booth, you know, and what they would be rapping about. It'd be funny as hell. So people going to the booth, you know, thinking that they just expressing themselves, and they go in the booth and they start snitching on themselves. They, you know, they, they, uh, you know, talk a lot of shit, and don't even think that a lot of things that you say can come back on you. You know, words have a vibration to it. You can speak things into existence. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. And that's what she got. She got that sword. OK. So, uh, hey, she got judged. She got her her her, her pack smoked uh, right outside of her, her salon. And you saw how proud she was. And, you know, when she was promoting it. And that's why the scriptures uh, speak about, you know, not boasting of tomorrow. Let me uh, let me get that in James. Cause she just knew she was gonna open that up and, you know, be an entrepreneur and be one of those women that be bragging and boasting about, you know, how they're entrepreneurs and, you know, they're self-made, they boss bitches. You know how you you know how it get with 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 Jake the, the the black woman when she feels accomplished you know she wear it on her sleeve with with pride and she use it to 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 you know look down on other men you know hardworking men because you know you know, he ain't making enough money he ain't this and he ain't that and you see the Lord he'll he'll, he'll put you back in the earth because you're not down the earth so he'll put you in the earth. Uh, James 4 and 13, it says, go to now ye that say today or tomorrow we will go in such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell. Meaning, you know, I'm going to establish business so I can uh, make a profit and make a bunch of money. I can call myself an entrepreneur or whatever and get gain. Whereas, you know, not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appear for a little time. And then vanisheth away. And uh, she was here for a little while. And now she got, she out of there. And she brought that on herself. For that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or, or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. So that woman, she wasn't innocent at all, man. And that song was ratchet, toxic. It was trash. But this is what we do in these in these last days, man. Our people are completely degenerated, very degenerate, man. Lowest of the low. So that had to get taken out, and to, in, in majority of our people, they're going to get taken out on this side. You know, let the multitude and perish. That was born in vain. Okay. So she was taken out of her misery. Now, let me, uh, real quick, let me get this, because, you know, she was a woman scorned about her ex. You know, whatever happened, you know, she never let it go. So this is what she did in retaliation. And she probably was going to try to physically get that done. She was probably sending a message with that song, you know, trying to uh, put out a kite, so to speak. You know, some simp-ass nigga from the hood to, uh, you know, Take that and, and go take matters into his own hands, you know, because he might want her. Because you know how men are, man. Men, uh, they run out of their wits for women and, and perish for their sakes, you know. Men that'll, uh, you know, rob and kill for, over a woman. 
you know, or 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 you know, a woman could put out a hit on a dude and and have a dude robbed, all type of stuff. So she was really probably trying to get him up out of there, and you know, he 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 sent for her to get out, get taken out of there before she could. You know, like I said, it's just speculation. You know, they still investigating it. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's how it went. You know, you put that song out there, now I got to really get you touched. It's uh, Ciroc 25 in a GNT. It says, uh, and this is uh, starting at 13, it says, No wound is as serious as wounded love. No troubles are as serious as the troubles that women cause. You dealing with the modern day woman on this side, you're going to have trouble in the flesh with, you know, because you and your woman, y'all become one flesh. You're going to have some trouble there because you under the curse. She's going to have that evil eye and, you know, the man also will have the evil eye too. The men are willing to put up with way more than the women do. That's for sure. It says no sufferings are worse than the sufferings caused by people who hate you. No revenge is worse than revenge taken by an enemy. And that was her way of getting vengeance or taking revenge on him, making that song. You know, that was her imagination is, you know, getting him uh, uh, put to death. You know, getting him caught uh, while he's sleeping. No poison is deadlier than the poison of a snake. And no anger is deadlier than the anger of a woman. You know, you get a, a, a so-called black woman or shit, women of the tribes in general. You get them angry, man, they 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 really thinking about how to get you out of there in the worst way. You know, figure out a way to 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 to, to hurt you. You know, sleep with, 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 with your relatives, somebody closest to you, you know. Uh, uh, destroy your uh, <laughs> your home or your, your vehicle, your, your your possessions. They'll do all type of stuff, man. Y'all seen uh, Waiting to Exhale back in the nineties? The, the character played by Angela Bassett. What did she do? Because you know her her husband moved on. She was she was they they were all them. All them chicks, they was all bitter, man. They was some bitter, angry women. So, you know, you 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 watch out for for these women. That's why Paul said it's best to not even uh, deal with a woman. You being all kind of shit. And you blessed if you got a silent, you know, woman who's uh, you know, she's she's a uh, continent, you know, meaning you know she has a uh, self control. You know, a woman that has uh she her her mind is well instructed. You know, uh, has thou a woman according to thine own mind? Don't forsake her. But you know that she's 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 very rare if you if you do got one of them. But if you these wicked ass women out here, what do the scriptures say? She, uh, her hands is as uh, bands, and uh, and is as a uh, as a net. You know. To try to trap you up. You know, I find more better than bitter than death the woman whose whose heart's as snares and her hands is as bands. You know, let let uh, let the portion of a sinner fall upon her, but he that pleases the Lord shall uh, escape her. All wickedness, but little to the wickedness of a woman. It says, I would rather live in the same house with a lion or a dragon than with a bad wife. You know, and that's a, the end of she she she's the worst. This is why nobody wants to deal with her. All right. And she getting taken out left and right. Your own men taking you out. And then when you get with Esau, they finding you dismembered. So he's he's taking you out. So that, that should let them know what what it is right now. And it, it, all this bad energy you 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 so-called black women put out is coming back on you. You can't even catch a break now. 
It says when a wife is in a bad mood, her expression changes until she looks like an angry bear. Her husband has to go and eat with the neighbors where he can't hold back his bitter sighs. Compared with the troubles caused by a woman, any other trouble looks small. May such women suffer the fate of sinners. And uh, the wages of sin is death. And she got just that. She was such a woman. And she got just that, man. All right. Her mouth pretty much caused her her demise. James 3 and 6, it says, and the tongue is a fire. Let me start at 5. It says, even so the tongue is a little member and boast of great things. Behold, how great of a how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body and set of on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. Okay. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and have been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly evil full of deadly poison. Okay. And, uh, you know, she was trying to send out that kite, you know, via a, a, a track, hopping on a song. And it returned right back to her. So she got what she got, man. She got what was coming to her. Proverbs 18 and 6 and 7, it says, A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. And that applies to both man and woman. Your mouth will get you into the things that you can't get yourself out of. You know, writing a check that your ass can't cash, yeah, that 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 can happen. And people go on go in the booth and talk all kind of shit. And that's black culture for you, man. You know, the Lord was even the shit, the Lord heard that and was like, all right, bet. All right. And he ain't right. He he gonna get it, he gonna get it eventually, but you you talking too much and you wicked as hell and you proud. Proverbs 18 and uh, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. All right. And, that, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say on this. Okay. <clears throat> Tanda God, she got judged for her mouth and in, in her outrageous uh, behavior, her ratchet outrageous behavior man and uh if you don't understand that that was judgment the scriptures say evil men understand not judgment you know how could you say this about her she was getting her life together and nah the most high he doesn't see man the way you see him there's no respect of persons with the heavenly father he killed and make alive he wound in the hills Take it up with the Heavenly Father, man. She got, she, <laughs> the Lord cleaned her clock, man. She got her, she got her pack smoked. After wishing that on, on her ex, uh, husband. So it is what it is, man. And, uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm gonna give all praise to y'all. Bashmi, I'll shy into the next one. Shalom.